welcome back. So today I am going to be filming two videos and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to post this first or not. But anyway, this video is going to be with the Kat Von D Me Vida Loca. So this is the Kat Von D Me Vida Loca palette. It has 24 shades and I would say new shades, but some of these shades are in previous palettes. Not all, some of them are brand new colors. Um, Noble, because I know Noble for sure, I remember that in the uh, Shade and Light palette. Then uh, the, I want to say the Analog is uh, in Harper's, Harps Chord or Harpsichord is also in um, uh, the Monarch palette. So I think a couple of these are, but not all of them. So if you were interested in getting at least two of the palettes, which are about $45 each, like the Monarch or the Shade and Lights, save yourself some money instead of spending $90 for two palettes, go ahead and get this because it was really going to give you the best of those worlds. So uh, it's $60 and there are 24 shades in here. So I think it's a really good deal. Um, now one thing I love about Kat Von D, she has not disappointed me yet with her eyeshadows. As far as the pigmentation, uh, the color payoff, uh, because you know there are some manufacturers or makeup manufacturers where some of their palettes, I said I wasn't, I was thinking about not naming names, but anyway, like Too Faced, who um, some of their palettes were really for lighter skin tones and not for either deep tan or darker or tan or darker I mean there's just a color payoff just isn't as great so they were definitely for paler skin tones for certain palettes in my opinion so yeah I really second guess buying anything <laughs> from Too Faced after that semi sweet palette yes not a fan not a fan so anyway um she has not def uh, disappointed me um Kat Von D like I'm in love with her products I think she has some really awesome products uh, I love her foundation I love the color payoff for these for instance let me show you this is the blue color here like look seriously and this is rubbing once so this is like swiping once look at this i'm telling you this is pretty awesome and then if i just swipe that there for these colors so i definitely recommend if you know you're looking for a new palette you're not scared of colors get this one if you are scared of colors then uh, i think you need to stick with the shade and light you know if you want to get a cap on d stick with the shade and light you don't need to be get any other uh, of her other um, palettes um, as far as eyeshadow palettes because Kat Von D is not scared of colors. So anyway, um, if you like to see how I have cheated this look using this palette, let me know if you like to see any other looks with this palette. Uh, you'll see it again because I, I love my color here. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoy this short tutorial. It's really, really short. I already have my makeup done already today, um, pretty much as far as the foundation and contouring. And I just kind of filled in the rest when I got home from work. So this is me after work. Uh, <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you like to see any particular tutorials, let me know. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to go babble on. Here we go. All right. See you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video. Bye. Starting off, I'm going to use the Noble out of the palette. And I'm going to use that um, right along the eye. It's going to go above the crease um, and underneath the brow bone. I'm going to use my Makeup Forever 12 Color Flash Palette. I'm going to use the black out of the palette. And I'm going to use that over the eyelid and right above the crease. And it didn't intend on it getting messy, but it did. So I'm um, just going to try to clean that up with a brush and then spread that out again with my fingers. Um, and it's just using that as a base. And it's just going to make the eye color pop using that darker color. I'm going to go back in with the Noble and kind of spread that out. Um, and uh, really kind of blend that. Um, I don't want it to be a very kinky line. Uh, where the color stop and start so just making sure I get that together I'm going into the palette with the Lenny 
and it is a very beautiful green color oh this is so gorgeous so i'm going to put that over the lid there and it's going to go all the way uh, to the inner tear duct area all the way to the outer corner of the lid and it's going to go right above the crease as well since i have a short lid i have to bring that up uh, above the crease I'm going to go in to the palette again with Vox and I'm going to use that brown shade right in the outer edge of the eye and I'm going to bring that over a little bit and kind of blend that uh, brown in with the green and then I'm going to go back with Noble and blend 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 again you want to make sure you keep on blending here the blending never stops <laughs> All right, so going back into the palette, I'm going to use the black metal color. And I'm using the black metal um, because I really want to give this a more of a smoky look on the outer corner of the eye. So I'm just creating a kind of like a tri triangle on the outer portion. And then going back to blend, blend, blend as well. Going back into that um, palette, uh, the Makeup Forever palette, I'm going to use that green or verde color, verde color, and then I'm going to use a angled brush, and I am going to go along the lash line all the way out, kind of like uh, creating a wing with that. This palette is perfect for so many different things, uh, for lipsticks, uh, creating cream color eyeshadows, using it for uh, lining your water lines and your eyes, it's just amazing. So I'm going to go back into that Makeup Forever palette and I'm gonna use a yellow and give it an ombre effect. All right, once I do that, I'm going to go back to the Mavita Luca palette. I'm going to use the Misfit, which is the middle green shade. I'm going to apply that toward the, the middle of the line. I'm going to go back into the palette. I'm going to use the light green, which is vinyl. I'm going to start um, in the outer portion. So I'm basically going to split this eye line up into three lines, well, three, three shades. So I'm going to use Lenny at the very end, Misfit in the middle, and then um, the first third. I'm going to use Vinyl. And I'm just packing on that. Now when you're using powder or creams of this nature anyway, you're going to need to set them. So using this powder is perfect because it's allowing me to set that um, that cream yellow shade I'm using the Kat Von D tattoo liner I started off with Tarte um, precision liner to start the line and then I moved on to the Kat Von D I'm going to use concealer to clean up that bottom uh, wing there that bottom line and now I'm going to have to set that so I'm going to go in and set that as well so I'm going to can um, Put the black into the waterline and then go back and set that concealer that I put there. All right, and I'm using a like a banana powder uh, compact that I purchased from Matt. I'm using the Becca Topaz highlighter. And the MAC Chestnut Pencil. So I'm using the MAC Chestnut Pencil, and then I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Cookie Lippy Stick. I'm just going to blend those two together. Alright, and that is it for this look. Um, those lashes are Ardell Lashes. Um, I forgot which one they are, so I do apologize for not putting that up, but I've reused them a couple times, so that's the reason why I don't know what they are. <laughs> All right, I will see you guys on the next video, and thank you so much for joining me. Um, 
See you next time.